How's it going, everybody? Today I'm gonna to be playing some Kuzumbo. Yeah, time to show yeah. the world who's boss. And this is still one of my favorite skins for Kuzumbo, so I'm, I'm still gonna use it. We're up against Morgan Le Fay. What do you know? Uh, fir first thing I want to say is my voice is it might sound a little off today. I don't really know why, but uh, you know, I guess I just woke up and my voice just isn't quite there like it usually is. I'm still drinking a lot of water though. So if I sound different, I feel fine, but uh, yeah, no, I, I, I'm not really sure. Um, let's see. I'm gonna start go. I want to go Bumba's hammer, but in order to do that, we need to start Bancroft's, and we need to go Blink, I think. And this is actually my second Kuzumbo game I'm recording today. The first one went very well, but my microphone there's there's an issue. It has like a dial for the volume. And I guess somehow I bumped it and the dial was at like zero. So I went to load into Soda Vegas. I was like, all right, let's 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 get this game out. And then it was like, oh, there's no voice. <laughs> Still voice for like most of the video. So uh, yeah, we're, we're, this is the second attempt, which is okay. Sometimes that happens, you know? And it's out of my control, but oh, well, whatever, whatever. But it's not out of my control. It's just, I gotta check for that kind of stuff, you know? And once again, uh, when you're playing duel, you should really leave as soon as possible to place a ward at red buff. Like, she she didn't start here, but if she did, that would have been pretty bad for me. So, kind of a do-as-I-say-and-not-as-I-do situation, because, I mean, a lot of times I just fail to leave base because I, I have, I'm talking about a thought I had. I'm trying to finish the thought. Dang, that, that dragon ability? Kinda good. Kinda good. The fear ability, kind of good too. Oh, she has shells. She doesn't have beads. Uh, which means I can actually get a lot of damage on her. Oh, that didn't hit me? What? Maybe not, dude. Maybe not. No, she's destroying me. Holy moly. And she got level 5 too. Oh, this Morgan Le Fay is not messing around. All right, let's get Telchas. Come on, Kuzbo. You're the top of the mafia. You're not gonna let a Morgan Le Fay beat you. Cool as a cucumber. Unless it's using my default voice pack for some reason, instead of the skin. That's okay. Eh, I might as well pick this up, actually. It won't help that much, but I guess for positioning with my three, it could help quite a bit. Looks like she's going into soul gems, so uh, I better get some anti-heal as well. We could go Bancroft's into divine. Or Bancroft's into Pestilence. I think Pestilence might be good. She also started a Sands of Time, which gives her additional cooldown at the start. And I assume she's going to go the one that gives 20% cooldown for later on. Well, I can push her through the minions. That's so sad. Yeah, I, I need to run, actually. Because we have very little mana regen at the moment. And I, I will be able to afford Bancroft by the time I'm back, which makes it all good. Ah, we are falling incredibly behind, though. Backing when the wave's there is not ideal, but when I only have enough mana for one ability, it's not like I'm going to clear the wave anyways. Like, she could just walk in front of my Nene, and then I might just end up dying. So, hey, I missed a few minions, and yeah, that's pretty bad, but at least I didn't die again. There she is. Can't actually push her through the wave because she moved so much. Oh, I tried to body block her best I could. Might still be able to get a blink kill though. Don't forget, she does have shell, but I think it'll be too much damage for her. No, she knows. She's aware. Ah, uh, now I'm so low on mana. Damn, this, this player knows exactly when they need to back up and when they can go forward. Okay, okay. No, there's no way I kill her. There's no way I kill her because I don't have enough mana regen. Maybe I should go Genji's because I kind of need the MP5. I really want anti-heal too, but I think Genji's might be more important right now. 
I'm using a lot of abilities and I need MP5. Now I usually do go Kronos Pennant on Kuzumbo, but we're in a situation where I kind of need defense. And going Kronos Pennant right now would mean one less item of going my defense. And that would also mean one less item of going my anti-heal. So if I go Genji's now, then I get my MP5 and cooldown. And I can just go Divine after that. I think going to Pestilence would also be okay, but I'm having huge mana problems right now. Could obviously also buy a few mana potions, but I generally don't really buy them outside the start of the game. Because it is 50 gold a pop. Alright, we've got red buff. That is great. Looks like she's going into a Spear of the Mages, I assume, or Divine Rune. Either way, it is a pen item. Quite honestly, she is great at staying in a position where I can't use my 3 without blinking. And using my, my blink when she's full health is not great. Yeah, even that. Okay. Oh, wait, am I still taking damage? Okay. God, she's healing so much. You guys see that? You guys see that? Yeah, we need that to heal right now. My lord, she heals a lot. But also, I, I mean, again, mana problems. <laughs> Why can't I have everything? I just need an item that is Divine Ruin, Pestilence, Genji's all combined into one. Alright, let's find out if she's going Anti-Heal or Spear. Well, I still don't know. Okay. How much is her soul gem hitting for? 42 damage? It's actually quite a bit. Stuff scaling like that adds up. And what's actually happening is I'm not actually hitting her with too many of my abilities, and because I'm not hitting with her with too many of my abilities, uh, she's just healing so much that she's always gonna be full health. And I kinda need her to be about half health in order for me to do my Kuzumbo shenanigans. Because that's when blinking on her is devastating. That's when pushing her through the wave is devastating. If she's full health and I go for that, then all of a sudden my kit is down and I'm going to die. Which is why I need to poke her out first. It does depend on a few things though. Uh, I mean, like as I get more items, it'll be fine if I go in. Because then I'll have cooldown. I'll get my abilities faster. Right now we only have, well, 20% cooldown because of blue buff. Next item's definitely going to be Divine Rune. Oh, and she got Divine Rune as well. So I probably don't want to go Bancroft's Typhons. I could, but uh, just Bancroft's just should be fine. Trying to hit her with the clearing the wave and the ricochet, but it's a little difficult. I might put a little bit more points in my two because I don't think I'm going to be pushing her through the wave very often. And I think I need to get my Nene back more like faster so i think putting points in the two here like right now i got my nene again but i missed <laughs> but i actually don't think it's a bad idea we're actually behind by 500 gold which is not much if this does go into the late game oh uh, she, her she has a lot of self peel like her her dragon her fear her ultimate but I, th I think Kuzumbo can do it. I think Kuzumbo can do it if we get into the late, late game. But we have to get there first. All right, let's back up. I don't know what to get my second relic. I think I should wait. She got beads. Okay. We can get either Sunder... We can get 
beads herself, which I actually think that would be an amazing idea against his, her fear. Because if I'm right next to her and she uses her fear and I beats that, that is really bad for her. Also, another idea would be horrific. Because if I get horrific, that means she's pretty much got to save her beads for my horrific or use her ult for my horrific. Which would give me more opportunities to kill her. Yeah, even if I ult here, uh, we're just never going to kill her. Right now we're fighting for the blue buff, basically. We're not actually fighting to kill. Well, she might. I can't. I don't do enough damage. Okay. If I could blink and push her into blue buff, that'd be kind of amazing. Nah, she's not going to fight me. All right. Good stuff. It's worth. Buffs actually give a huge amount of XP and gold. I don't know the exact amounts. It's one of those things where it's like, I've been playing Smite forever, right? How do I not have the numbers of everything memorized? And the truth is, they get changed so often. Like, I think buffs over the course of how long I've been playing Smite have, have been changed. I've had their stats changed like 20 times. So, yeah. Or like how much XP and gold they give or all that all that good stuff. Yeah, no, they change it all the time. Yeah, I'm going to try a Horrific. I actually think Horrific's not a bad idea. Because let's say I ult and then she ults my ult, which of course she's going to do, right? But then all of a sudden I could just Horrific her. And she has to use her beads or something. Otherwise, she's a sitting duck against my, my Bumbos and stuff, which I don't have yet. Like there, it's not very useful because she's still in her tower. We need to kill that tower somewhat soon. Nah, not even close to enough damage, quite frankly. Ah, uh, blink kill could be amazing here, but she does have her ultimate. Let's not forget. All right, she's back in. Yeah, no, I, I can't do too much with her tower here. If I was against a physical god, I would go uh, Emperor's Armor, but we are not. That's all right. I mean, if we make her back off and we get some buffs, that's always going to be worth it. Okay, now what we can get is... Oh, I don't know. I actually don't know what to buy. Uh-oh. Uh... Polly... Maybe Spear the Mages, Chronos Pennant, Soul Gem. I'm going to try a Soul Gem. Normally, like I was mentioning this earlier, but normally I go Chronos Pennant on Kuzumbo, right? But here, if I have Genjis, then late game 10% plus 10% from Bombos plus 20% from Chronos Pennant. Uh, we are maxed out, and then Power Potion puts us over the cap. And it's not always bad to be over capped, but it's just less efficient, right? So why get Chronos Pennant when I can get Soul Gem? And if I'm spamming abilities like crazy, it might actually be amazing. I, I haven't tried Soul Gem on Bumba's Kuzum, but I actually imagine it would be amazing. Although I don't know if it procs on my two. But even if it doesn't, I'm, I'm still throwing out abilities super fast. We'll find out. Whoops, that was bad. All I can say is this Morgan Le Fay is it's very difficult to get some like good positions against her, you know what I mean? Like trying to uh trying to like get behind and push her through the wave or something. Mostly because she's in the tower, but that's okay. I can I can kill her. It'll just it just requires some patience. Just requires some patience. And a little bit of luck. Damn, she is so fast. I gotta check how much movement speed she gets from that ability. If anyone knows, let me know. Because, wow. She gets a lot of movement speed from her three.
I gotta alt out for the movement speed. That always feels bad, ulting out for the movement speed, but sometimes it's necessary. Okay, I think at this point, at this point, very crucial to remember that, hey, we are getting Bumpus Hammer. We are almost level 18. We need to start saving up for it, because it is a pretty expensive item. Because we want to buy Bumpus Hammer the moment we hit level 20, assuming we're not in a fight. Uh, that is essentially the most important part of this of this game, right? And the whole point of going Bumpus Hammer, or the whole weakness of it, is that I don't have a start item for the entire game, and I finally get it uh, late game, you know? So she's been benefiting from Sad's time. But I don't, I don't have anything like that right now. I do lose my tower. That's okay. Quite honestly, I forgot it was still up. <laughs> it did save me last fight. Looks like she has Rod of Tahuti. I'm not really scared of that, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, I don't know. A soul gem, like, not even for the healing, just for the extra damage on spamming abilities. I think it could work out pretty well here. Like, even there, you see how much I use my abilities. And she just used her beats for my horrific, which is exactly what I wanted her to do. Might be able to kill her if I can push her through the wave. That was a beautiful setup. That was a, like... A perfect setup as Kuzumbo. I don't get to do that often, but it's really cool when you get to do it. When you know their beads are down, there's no way they can stop it. And you alt, and you angle them so that they're right in front of the wave, and then you push them through it. It's so satisfying, too. That was awesome. The Horrific really worked out there. Again, Horrific's usually used as like a cheesy like first item. And you try to catch your opponent off guard. I tend to use it more of a, oh, you didn't save your relic. I'm going to get horrific. You know what I mean? Because in duel, a lot of times you don't want to buy your relic at level 12. You want to wait and see what your opponent gets because then you can counter them. Like if they don't get a sprint, you can get horrific. Or if they don't, if they get something else, you can get Sunder or whatever, right? But it's usually better to get your relic second, but if you're behind, you sometimes don't have that luxury of waiting. And look at that. Alright, you guys ready for the infinite nanes? We do have 40% cooldown. We don't have Trolls Pennant. That would make it a little bit faster, but that's okay. Alright, let's see. Do have to still clear the wave? Get close enough. I can't even hit her. I can't even hit her with my bubble hammer because she's so fast. Yeah, I actually... This is not working <laughs> at all. Oh my god. She's getting her cooldowns way more than me. Yeah, no. About halfway through that fight, I realized, well, I'm not going to win this. But I don't think running would have worked either because of how fast she is. I need something to like... I almost am thinking gem. Gem Vice is kind of trash. But with gem, I could just keep her right next to me and it wouldn't even matter. And that's what I need to do. Wow, she is so mobile. Yeah, I just drastically underestimate how fast she is. And how easy it is for her to just go back and forth and never get hit by an auto attack. Which is fine. We could all, like, e even so, Bumba's Hammer is still good for when I can push her up against a wall and auto attack and use my wand and stuff like that. I think it's all good. She is going double defense, but Bumba's Hammer does give true damage. Um, oh, but it would be nice to have some more pen. Would be nice since she's going double defense. That kind of sucks that she is. I was really hoping she wouldn't. Staff of Meriden would be fun on Kuzumbo, uh, but it's not buffed yet. I'll, I'll try it out when, when they buff it again, because right now it's not great. It's pretty bad. She 
She probably is going to go upgrade her starter item, which is fine with me. Wow, look how far she got. <laughs> look how far she got. Imagine. Oh my god, the fear, dude! The fear! The fear! Run! Run, Kuzumbo! Oh my lord, that was so scary. I really wanted that kill because if I got that kill, I would get Phoenixed. Because the, the wave wasn't completely killed yet. But, ah, no. That was so scary. I, I'm, I'm glad I'm alive at least, but... When, when we're fighting like that, it actually goes pretty well for us. The only reason she turned around and won that fight was because of her phoenix like if the phoenix wasn't there i wouldn't have had i could have waited on my ult as well that would have been important oh this this is honestly anyone's game honestly anyone's game very close i mean the the, the matchups one and two we both have almost died many times like gotten very close it's very much anyone's game even though my phoenix is down it's that fear. That fear is honestly the hardest part to deal with. The dragon's not too difficult. I mean, hey, you're never going to win the game if you stay super far back, though. Like, I know you have long-range abilities, but you'll, you'll never win the game at that range. She's getting a little bit closer, though. I don't know if I want to blink until after I get my gem by, so it's one of those things like it's my like might as well wait, right? Excuse me, we 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 weren't uh, at max cooldown earlier. We are going to be now once I get my power potion. We were at max cooldown earlier when I said it because of blue buff. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. And she's out. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, she wants me to chase her across the map. It's like, why Why would I do that? I've done it a little bit before, but you want me to do that again? Damn, I can't blink because she has such a long dot on me. Oh. She thought I was going to blink there. I thought I was going to blink too, but then she started backing up. It's like, I'm not going to blink on you if you're backing up. Hey, you're losing your fire wave. I don't have to do anything right now. You're the one that has to make a move. If you don't go into this Phoenix, I get my Phoenix back up, and now there's only normal minions. Now it's easy for me to keep this up. Well, not easy, but it's easier. Good defend. I'm just going to get this chalice because we're going to be buying so many wards, and I have no idea how long this game is going to last. Ooh, she's actually kind of in a weird spot here. She's kind of low as well. Oh, that hit me. Oh, if that hit. If that hit, I think it would have been a good, good spot to kill her. She really likes staying far back. And like far back, I mean like a quarter of the map far back. It actually makes no difference. At this point, we're both full build. Me keeping this wave doesn't really make a difference except saving up for 3k pot. I'm just trying to make her decide whether to go back or to go forward. If she goes back, I might be able to get Phoenix. Might. Probably not. No. No, I can't because of the Brutes. Should have killed the Brutes. That's all right. We can instead go for this. Yeah, with it, she's just staying too far back. Because even if she decides to back off, it's like, okay. Then if I push the wave up, she, she would be back in time. 
that's okay. We just play patiently. We will get her one way or another. Or I guess she might get me, but... I, I imagine there will be a situation where I have the perfect setup to blink. She counter ults, and then I just terrific or something like that, and then she dies. That's what I'm hoping, but... We don't want to use our blink unless we guarantee we can get the kill. There's your ult. There we go. Perfectly well done. She had to ult my horrific. That is why we got it. That way I can ult her without her counter ulting. Good stuff. Didn't even need my blink. I th yeah, I, I'm actually not a big fan of Gem of Iso, you guys. I don't buy it often, but in this matchup, because of her playstyle specifically and Morgan Le Fay's kit, how much self-peel she has, uh, yeah, no, Gem of Iso's working perfectly. So, uh, again, I, I wouldn't recommend it in most matchups. Like, I don't even buy it against Poseidon, but here, it worked fan it's working wonderfully. Again, most of my damage is getting mitigated, so I'm not doing too much, but the Bumba's Hammer, I mean, 480 from Bumba's Hammer, it's by itself. It's, you can't deny that's pretty, pretty good. How much is Soul Gem doing? 59 damage? A proc? I mean, honestly, not. <laughs> Could be worse. Could be worse. Okay. Uh, my po potion's still up for a while. I guess upgrade beats. I mean, blink. Upgraded Blink's not that good, but considering every time I blink, she hits me with a big ability, eh, it could help. We mostly just want to save for 3k pot as well. Now that we have her her uh, Phoenix, there's a lot less pressure on me. There's a lot less pressure. We can just kind of, you know, breathe a little bit and be like, all right, we have her Phoenix. Our Phoenix is up. Everything's good. You know what I mean? Where it currently is, everything is good. What I can do is every time she uses her fear, I can dash immediately and get out of it before it fears me. Why that hit me? That's so unfortunate that that hit me because now I'm at half health and she's at max health. This is bad. This is bad. I took way too much poke without hitting her. But, I mean, I can't heal with the nanes. I might blink here. This might be a blink position because then she'll be on my side of the map, like, entirely. Wow, oh, she's so afraid, though. I was literally at half health and she's staying so far back. She's actually losing her opportunities to kill me. She should have taken the opportunity to possibly f take Phoenix. But because she stays so far back, she actually lost it. Now I'm back to full health. It's incredible. I, I, it's, sometimes I don't know if players genuinely know. Like, I know some people have this playstyle because it's better, right? But sometimes it actually works against you. I think she could have pushed and possibly uh, got my Phoenix or killed me or it would have been close without risking too much from herself. Now we're in a really good spot here to possibly kill her. Oh, never mind. Well, maybe. Maybe I should ult for it. I'm going to save my Horrific for if she ults. Or when she ults. There we go. Look at that. What what an insane game. Like, that was... A, like... Uh, some some parts were frustrating. Because, you know, she was staying so far back. And the tower sitting. But, I mean, just playing it out. We were able to deal with it. You know what I mean? And what was it was so exciting is just the game was super close. I mean, there, there was a moment where I could have lost. There was a moment where she could have lost. It's kind of nice back and forth. And I don't know. I kind of like this map because the matches are more back and forth overall. For the most part. I mean, there's still the garbage matchup every now and then. But, yeah, no, I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Here are the match stats. And let me know what god you want me to play next. I still have Ganesha, Horus uh, in my mind to play those, you know, sometime soon. But it's really hard to get a game with Ganesh and uh, Horus. I mean, I'll just try it soon. But, yeah. Appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you guys later.